morning. We're here at the Cumberland Mine Railroad, and uh, I wanted to talk to you today about our number 10 turnout. And uh, this is the turnout. Obviously, this is a switch, obviously. Um, I'll do another video sometime on different parts of the switch. There's different... Uh, Clips. I want to. I want to get some different different types of clips and stuff like that. And that's a switch it's called a switch stand. But this is a uh, over here. This 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 side is called the right hand switch point. This is the left hand switch point. This is unique. This is uh, actually called a uh, Aria Design Detail 5100 switch. Aria is American Railway Engineering Association, and it's also called a Samson switch. It's a uh, it's really uh, what you need for a, for high speed rail. I hope you can see this. This this rail here is in it's it's grooved down. This this part is straight. This is grooved in. So this switch point actually fits inside here. On on the, a lot of the switches, the switch point will be on the outside. So this is what all high speed. Uh, uh, switches are the they use these Samson switches because it indents in there All right, so the switch point is actually flush with the uh, With the rail and over here I put a we put we always put a Little extra insurance I put a clamp on there to hold it um, Just a little extra insurance but uh, This is a It's called a keel block. This is where your switch points go into your uh, your other rails, and these bolts that hold it. See this? This is a little bit loose. Uh, it's got to be loose, so this switch point here can this uh, can move a little bit back in here. It can't can't be real tight. Um, A and K 132, 136. A and K is a railroad supply company, and uh, it's 132 or 136 rail. This uh, heel block will fit on. <coughs> so uh, here's the rest of the parts of the of the turnout. Through the turnout, from down there at the end of the switch, up to the end of the turnout, um, the main line is called the parent rail. Once it gets past the through the turnout, then it reverts back to main. The uh, rail into the siding here. We have a siding. Uh, could be a rail into a spur. A spur is kind of like different from a siding where a spur would go into like an industrial complex like uh, you might see on the Wapaka cam if you watch the rail cam. But the, this side over here is called the turnout track. It's also called the diverging track through the turnout. So this whole curve up from the switch point up through to the end of the turnout it's called the diverging track. Once it gets through the turnout, it reverts back to being called the uh, siding. Okay. This uh, outside rail here is called the straight stock rail through the turnout. From the heel block up past the frog. It's called the straight stock rail. On this side, where it goes the outside rail going into the uh, siding that's called the curved stock rail okay from the heel block out through past the frog guard up there this this rail right here that is your straight closure rail that's the main the straight closure rail on this side when we go into the diverging track this is called your curved closure rail. Alrighty. Um, take you up here and show you this uh, number 10 frog. We have a couple other number 10s and mostly we have number 8s and number 10s. We don't have any number 20s. For uh, so that's a number 10 frog. The turnout number 
gets its uh, designation from the number of the frog. And uh, this little thing right here, you can see, that's where it's stamped in from A and K. It's also by A and K. It shows you the number. But if you want to do a little math and find the frog number, you would take um, the formula is one half the cotangent of one half the frog angle. And in this particular case, that would give you a number 10. It's also stamped here. 132 relay number 10. Um, here's another a little bit of information. 10 feet out, these uh, two rails are one foot apart. 10 feet out. If we had a number 20, you would go 20 feet out and the rails would be one foot apart. And the, uh, the higher the number of frog, or higher the number of turnout, the faster the speed you can go on the uh, diverging track. Okay. Um, got a lot of friends on that uh, watch this from the uh, Beal in New Mexico rail cam. And uh, the track number, according to open railway map, track number six and number seven are the mains. Uh, number eight, according to that website, is uh, the siding. So there that uh, turnout that we see all the time is always covered up by J.B. Hunt containers. <laughs> you all know what I mean there. Uh, that is a actually a number 20 turnout. So uh, need a little information on that today. But uh, that's our uh, Hot Wheel detector. We have here at uh, mile post eight. This is about halfway on our track from the mine down to the harbor. And uh, I put up a bunch of uh, several videos in the past of the uh, hot wheel detector going off. So you can go back and listen to them if you like. One of them actually took you inside the, uh, it's called a wayside bungalow. Uh, took you inside that and showed you the circuitry in, in it. So, so that's a number 10 turnout here at Cumberland Mine Railroad. And uh, it's a nice day. I got a train will be through here before long, and I got to get off and get some more tamping done today. But uh, thanks for watching, and I hope you have a really good day.